Welcome to Lubera. My name is Markus Kobold. I'm founder and breeder of Lubera. Today I'm talking to you about, about peach breeding and I'm in the midst of our, our test field, of our fruit test field in the valley of the Rhine in Switzerland. You see the mountains here, about 2,500 meters high with a snow chill 1,000 meters. And we have some dangerous nights now, which can be about zero me, minus one degrees. And the, the peaches are, are beginning to bloom. So you have some in a balloon stadium. You have not full, full, full open blooms, but they are beginning to bloom. And what you see here, these covert peach trees, is the beginning of our peach breeding program. Why are we beginning to, pe to, to breed peaches? Because we aren't pleased by the peaches we have for our gardening, for our gardens. Because, because they are not very good for our gardens, because they were selected not north of the Alps, not in Switzerland, Germany or UK, they were, they were selected in Southern Europe. And most of them were selected in the States, in the US. And also most of European breeding programs are based on the genetics which are coming from the US. And if you go back to the history of peach breeding, 90% of the genetics we have today are based on five, six varieties which were imported to, to America 300 years, 400 years before. So it's, rather, it's ra rather astonishing that out of this small genetic base it was possible to found such wonderful uh, peach varieties we have today. But they're wonderful to eat, they're wonderful to have in the supermarket, they're wonderful to be grown in California or southern France but they are not really good for our gardens. When you have a garden and when you have a peach in your garden, of course, the quality of the peaches can be much better than the uh, quality of the fruit found in the supermarkets, but uh, the trees won't be lasting too long. They will live for five, six, seven years, perhaps 10 years, but you will have too many problems with leaf curl, with bacteriosis and other things. And the reason why is because they weren't selected in the climate we have in our gardens. They weren't selected north of the Alps and that's our goal. So first we are doing is outbreeding. So we have selected mother plants here which are now covert that no insects are coming in and so that we will be able to go with the pencil to pollinize our flowers with the, with the male, male parent we want. We have se selected here and planted the, the parents we want to use in our breeding program. And we are choosing parents now which have as much distance between them as possible. So we want to have a broad genetic base if it is even possible in peaches. And when we have found some interesting strains and varieties after this step, we will also do some inbreeding. So uh, inbreeding to to find the best variant of what we have already found. But first is now outbreeding, to have more selections, more bandwidth and more chances to find the right varieties for gardening north of the Alps. And that's a little bit typical for our breeding programs. If you see a, a missing link, if you see a gap in the assortment of fruit plants and berry plants in the garden, we always are thinking to make it better, to fill this gap. So it will be a project of 10, 15 years. If we have to do two generations, it will be about 15 years. So one generation is five to seven years because uh, peaches are a little bit faster in, in having fruit than apples, uh, but it's a long time. I'm now a little bit more than 50. I won't tell you the exact age and I will be uh, more than 65 when we have finished this program when we have selected two varieties the things we are now crossing here in this line so it's a long time to go it's a long way to go but we will succeed we will have better varieties for your gardening hmm where have all the flowers come i know where here you go to lubera co uk with all our breedings and thousands of more plants here you can inscribe to our YouTube channel and now pick the flowers.